you probably already know, Livio and I recently moved out of China, so we packed all of our stuff. We had a beautiful flight out of Hong Kong. Now we are in Romania. For those of you that don't know, Livio is from Romania, so he has prepared a Romania road trip for us, and I am so excited. Let's go. First stop on our road trip, we have gotten to... Cebu. When you picture that storybook European town, this would definitely fit that description. It is so beautiful, so let's go explore. Annabelle is a firecracker Falling down a dimly well Lighting fuses is a former lover Thinks his humor's clever as hell I am standing right now on one of the most famous spots in Cebu. It is called the Bridge of Lies. Supposedly the bridge has ears and when people are walking on it that are untruthful or dishonest then the bridge can tell and there's all these local myths about it creaking and making noises when deceitful people are walking on it. Wait, I heard something, Livio. I'm what are you, you what are you not telling me? Right, look. Don't these look like it's, eyes on the houses? It's watching us. <laughs> these eyes are actually windows in the attics to provide ventilation, prevent the house from getting too hot. I used to think that some of these houses are watching you. Livio, they're watching you, the eyes. Look, it's more eyes. Look, there's a Cyclops house right there. Ages, all of the wealthier people, the Saxons mainly, lived up here in the upper town and then the poorer people lived down in lower town which I actually think is just as beautiful and more colorful maybe. These are the stairs to lower town. It's actually a famous landmark of the town. Again, it's called the Stairs Passage. exploring this medieval town it just has so many layers there's all of these pathways twisting around and leading Livio something that I thought was really interesting was that you see the tower there those four turrets were to signal medieval visitors that this town has the death penalty visitors in the Middle Ages would see that from really far away and maybe decide not to come here if they were up to something. We are in the Lutheran church right now and this is a crypt where all of the mayors are buried. wanted to go inside the church but we ended up somehow hiking up the bell tower of this medieval cathedral and we're just wandering in the midst of these bells and steep narrow staircases this is so cool
morning guys. Today Livio and I are at a museum and this is it here. So as you can see, it is not a... This is Livio here. <laughs> yes, that's Livio. As you can see, it is not a usual indoor type of museum. This entire museum is outside. It is actually a 96 acre park and it is all of these traditional Romanian houses. I really feel like I am walking through a fairy tale or the Lord of the Rings set or something. Second chances are a contradiction when you're learning how to cope. Paranoia is the opposition like walking down a slippery slope. This is so cool because this is pretty much a replica of where you lived with your grandparents. Yeah, we used to uh I used to spend the summers, most of the summers, uh, with them. It reminds so me a cool. lot of those times. The ovens, the chairs, the tables, everything, like the furniture is pretty much the same. My grandma's house literally had the same stone steps. I remember being like a young boy and I would sit on the, on these steps. I actually rode into one of these many, many times. This is the, this is where the cows would actually be. The roads were, were made of stone, so the sound that these things made, these things made when we were like, just riding down the street would be like crazy. And it would be an extremely uncomfortable ride, but again, we used to love it as kids. This is the exact windows that we used to have. The hinges are literally the same thing, like, it's crazy. It brings back a lot of memories. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember singing songs? Trying not to sound too gone. Sneaking poles of Jack Street out of the bottle. Smoking cheap cigarettes. behind us this guy in there is cutting the grass cutting the hay in the old style and he actually let Livio <laughs> try it he wasn't as good at it. Worst at it <laughs> so one of the uses for the hay that he's cutting right now is to make the roof of the house and you see how big that roof is so the hay is an entire meter thick and it lasts for 20 years that's crazy <laughs> we used to have the biggest craziest tomatoes ever and they would smell so like the smell would be so strong that you could smell them from like far away <gasps> tomatoes that's why yeah. i'm very surprised now when you go to, to the supermarket tomatoes have no smell like when we used to like it the vines used to smell like like tomatoes wow. from far away and when we used to cut the tomatoes the whole house would like smell of tomatoes wow there was it's such a like thing that, as no. like tomato smell but we don't have that anymore like you don't you don't get it nowadays Wow, that's yeah. amazing. They were really, really flavorsome. And you would have vines like this? Yeah, these vines exactly the same way. This is so amazing, Liv. Mm. It's, it's like literally everything here reminds me of what we used to do, everything. is so so incredibly beautiful inside it's just such intricate and detailed work this is probably one of my favorite churches that I've ever seen it's really small but so beautiful so it was built in 1670 and then they moved it to here to be uh, kept safe in this park Liv, say something here because you look really handsome, look as handsome. always, but... So, does everybody notice how handsome I am right now? Is it just me or am I really I'm handsome? noticing. 
Anyway, all of this just really reminds me. I keep remembering more and more stuff as I see things and like utensils or, or little things. This is where the elders used to work out. Yeah, right. <gasps> Livio, no, don't do that. I thought that there would maybe be like five houses, but this is hundreds of houses and all of them are just incredible. So definitely worth coming here. It's just a little bit outside of the town and not very expensive to get in. having a traditional Romanian lunch of, what are these called, Liv? Mich. People sometimes in the south call them mitite, but that just sounds weird for us in Transylvania and in where I'm from, so we call them mich. I don't really like strong meat flavors, so I don't like lamb, beef, pork, but I love these, and these are a combination of all of that, and somehow I love them. Food here is so good. It's so filling. Like you only need to get a snack and you're full. Livio and I are leaving the park now. It was awesome. This park is just huge. What? It feels like I'm just lost in here and I'm never gonna be able to find my way out. <laughs> I'm lost in rural Romania. I feel like, is this still the park or are we in some village? <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? Yeah. Like, okay, we are leaving Sibiu. We have the stuff. We're leaving that guy. Oh. We can't forget the snacks. So where are we headed now, Liv? We are headed to Brasov. And we did not decide we're going to Brasov until this morning. So <laughs> I love that about road trips, how you can be so spontaneous. And a bell is a fire crack. 